my correct right people them blessing don't come out can give us the detailed story of what she passed through for her marriage and wow when you see people then they do some things no judge them all because you know no way they don't pass through the blessing now anything about man a transaction that's why she they always say money money and money because she don't give love and waiting the team bring can give her no be small pain and torture my correct right people them i watch this video with tears for my eyes i say now wow now wow if you know no people's story sometimes no judge them oh this woman has been through a lot and back from a lot the things where she passed through made her stronger and it changed her mindset we be saying now she did preach billing 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 you're about to hear a story of a young lady who married at the tender age papa said now i'm saying may go collect degree she can't say nagbola she won't collect no be smoothing no my correct cry people them this is so touching i cried i cried honestly i cried all right so my correct right people then carry your handkerchief oh, because definitely you gonna cry and you gonna no blessing see your mo you gonna understand her actions better you will see so okay see why she choose this route every time he goes to work as a typical edo man like they call themselves he takes my son away from me and go and drop it with his mother And tell the mom not to allow me access because I got married to him living in the family compound. She can't tell us, haha, Bobby go fool. Bobby go fool. The man no go grill, me she breastfeed her picking. Even when the man they go work, he go carry the picking, go keep for the mama place. Say no one may she breastfeed her, may she no come transfer or one jay give him. No be smart, you know. Mama said, go collect picking, keep. Say, now so her Bobby go full, go they pain her. Like, say, tomorrow and next tomorrow, no day. Then she come ask the man, say, I bet, what did I do you? Will you they treat me like this? Then the man say, you don't tire for the marriage. Say, not tire for the marriage, Jare. Ah. My mom came from a mobile and he drove my mom away. And said, my mom wants to take charge of his home. That how dare my mom come to his house and we buy food stuff? My mom said, Look at my daughter. She's breastfeeding. She just went through a cesarean session. The least you can give to her is food. He wants my mom out of the compound. <laughs> I said if I want to follow my mama, I should follow my mom, but I should drop his child. I went to my mom, I told her, Mommy, I'm sorry. She looked at me and said, My daughter, for those of you who are Igbo, EJD, thank you, Mommy, I love you. As I hugged her, she asked me in Kiruka, are you sure you don't want to live with me? I said, mommy, no, let me make this marriage work. As I hugged her and waved her goodbye, she came back and told me, in Kiruka, I said, yes, mom. Yabajuotolo, come back home. In Kiruka, come back home. If you know you cannot... Back home. By then, my mom was building her, her second house. She said, why do you think I am doing this? Why do you think I am building this house? It's for you people, Kiruka. Come home. I said, mom, she asked me, do you know the reason why I named you in Kiruka? I said, no. She said, it was when she was going through her own phase of marriage. She said, do you ever wonder why we named you Blessing? I said, no, it was the day I gave that to you that Bounty got into our family. Your father bought his first car. We moved to Lagos and she called me Kiruka, meaning the future is great. 
I hold on to that word. And I watch my mom leave. At one month with CS, I was already beating my son. I'll beat him, I'll drop him on the bed. I'll go to my house, Charles. So there was a day I had finished feeding my son. As a new mom, I didn't know that, you know, immediately you finish giving the child food, you have to like rub their back for them to belch. So because I was cooking and I was feeding, I just quickly finished feeding him and I lay him down, let me go turn off the gas. Then I didn't even know that my ex-husband had entered because it was a one bedroom we're living in. When he entered, he started shouting. Sit and so the man can they shout, Paya, Paya, Ogbanje, Ogbanje, you won't buy my only son. He's from a dose state. Maybe that's the reason why I hate very dark man. Maybe that's the reason why I hate him. He would tell me I'm an do man. You know the big woman. <laughs> You know when a man is egocentric, he was so full of himself with no money. I restricted myself. And he quickly ran to call his mother, because we were living in a family house, and told my his mother that I wanted to son. What was happening? After giving my child food and I laid him down, I didn't I forgot for him to bail. Food was now coming out through his nose. Then my ex said I pulled my son. <sighs> he called his mom to come and carry my child. The mother entered into my bedroom and carried my child. She took him to their compound. It's a family compound. They have a bungalow. And he built a one-bedroom flat on the same compound. So his mother took my son to her. Come her like her own house then my ex came back as usual he doesn't beat me like a woman he beats me like a man he pulls out his belt and begins to flog me like a child sometimes people ask me blessing how did you become so strong i have no option i used to be a baby girl i used to be a Cry baby, I used to be so soft. I used to... This guy made me so tough that you know when a man pulls out his belt and flops you like a child. All I see there is I see and I cry. Is this what marriage is about? I come and just let me fall for my own. They did not expect it. Ah. <laughs> when my father begged me not to marry, my father said, in Kiruka, I sent you to University of Calabar. <laughs> they still enough for you to get married. I said, Mom, that is my life. <laughs> not be this freak. <laughs> Daddy, not be this freak. <laughs> if I don't marry Loki Oko Daddy, you will carry my dead body. <laughs> the only time. You can never interfere in my life, Daddy. It's except you are dead. I love Lucky and I will marry him. If you refuse me to marry him, I will get pregnant in your house and bring disgrace for you. Oh, my dad wept. <laughs> my dad wept. He wept. He wept. He wept. <laughs> he had to call some of my uncles. My uncle said, It's not better you allow her marry honorably than for her to get pregnant. I was how I got married. So when the torture began, I could not call anybody. I prick as 
I won't go meet a dope freak. A dope freak. I don't want to cry. After he finished beating me, he will ask me where is my food. I will go to the kitchen, make something for him, and we will eat. He used to smash my phone every one week and buy me another one. The one that broke me one day was the day I called him and told him that I was on my period. Honey, please, can you get me sanitary pad when you're coming? He said, okay. He bought me one sanitary pad and one tissue. And I now told him, baby, you know I have heavy flow. You're supposed to buy two sanitary pad. The next thing I had on my face was his lap. Boy! Are you the woman with the issue of blood? That you cannot manage one sanitary pad? I told him I was sorry. But I left. Every time he goes to work and I see that at home doing nothing while my child is with his family, I was in depression. Almost killed me. To call my mom. Mommy. She said, come home. Come home. I said, what about my dad? She said, he's my husband. I will talk to him. Come home, baby, you girl. Come home. I called my younger sister, Amara. I then I had an extra year in school. On oh, my mid I left. It got to the point that I almost went to so At a point, she been just the thing saying that to buy this man I romano because so many thoughts just they run through her head. Whether to put a sniper or to go burn him inside the house. She just they think many, many things. Say no, she never feel leave this marriage. Without revenge, now she can't call her mother. Her mother can't say, Nkiruka, come back home. You ever wonder why I put you that name, Nkiruka? Come back home. You get bright future ahead of you. Everything where your ex-husband say you know will be, you will be all everything. You'll be a better version of him. Say now, so she can't listen to the mother. The mother say, me, come back. She say, what of her father? Say, no worry, now my husband now, I go talk to Ram. We'll be smart, you know. This woman really passed through a lot. No wonder she'd always talk negative, negative things about marriage. Ah. I carried my son that morning to his mother. I didn't even have transport fare to go back. I had to sell my wedding ring. It was gold. I used the money, picked up a bus. AKTC, for those of you are in Port Harcourt, Water Lines. I went to my friend's place in the Pai room. I needed to cool my head because I was going crazy. By then, he was already looking for me and they declared me missing. I had to call my mom and tell her not to worry. I'm in my friend's place. I just want to get myself to be able to face my father. After one week with my friend in a quiet room, I went back to Enugu. As I was climbing the step, my father said, if you get your feet into this house, I should calm down, that I should wait. I 
was downstairs with my traveling bag as a prodigal daughter. <laughs> my father said that we don't enter his house. My father kept downstairs and he cried. You were my pride. I used to use you to boast. Kiruka, I begged you to finish school. I was just saying, Daddy, I'm sorry. Judas the bead who said, Prick, no, no, good job. Prick. Freak no no good. Freak no no good. <laughs> My father said I'm going to march the same way I marched into his compound. <laughs> the only way my father said he will forgive me is if I go back to school, graduate, go for NYC, and come back. Because that was what he sent me to the University of Calabar to go and do. I told you, okay. My father cried because I was his favorite child. My mom gave me some money and told me that when I get back to school, I should call her. I left for Calabar the next day. All I did was cry. I asked my younger sister, Amma, because she was in Unicard then too. So I was staying with her in an apartment. Shame. All my friends mocked me. Shame. No green me come on that side. By the time I went back to school, my set was going for NYC. I didn't even see any face that I could recognize. <laughs> I went back and started again. While I was battling with the extra years in school, my ex-husband filed for custody and divorce in the customary court of appeal for that court. The letter was sent to me and when I read it, I was shattered. My ex-husband said I abandoned my son for... My ex-husband said I refused to breastfeed my son because I still wanted my breast to be standing. He said a lot. The very first day I appeared in the customary court of appeal, I couldn't say a word. All I did was look at him. I couldn't believe. Is this the man I got married to? After we finished the first court case, I met him outside and told him, can we talk? He said, I should go ahead. I told him we can work this out for the sake of my son. He said, well, he's, instead of him to ever have anything to do with me again, he would rather die. Maybe that's why I hate a very dark man. You know, with those traits and those words. He left me in the law court crying. My lawyer said, this is time for you to be strong. When you're f We can summarize the rest part too. She says she tried to fight the cost of the battle, but she says, Kai. They fight too much because waiting now, ex-husband, they always talk. 
This one will never fit by part for herself. Now this one won't go fit picking. She not get anything where she they do. She not get anything where she they do. Bo bo bo. Now she she can say chai. She can't go find work for Transcop. Hilton for Calabar. Now then now she can't go the work. So upon that the man no wrestle. Now from one police case to the other, one police case to the other. Say they lay get one time where they arrest them. They say the man say they threaten him, saying a threat to life. And so as she she can appear. Because that time she slim well well and if now no blessing see her for this street, we're gonna no say she been slim well well and now she don't add body. Then they cause a person away won't buy you be this. Even the police people said they're shocked. But once you don't enter police and now they must come bail you. And then they come to say to me, she call person me come bail them. And she can't call her mama, mama can't call person, they can't go bail them for potacot. So now so as she go to go complete her school. From Calabar to Portacourt, Calabar to Portacourt for court case. Finally, say her lawyer been tried where well, well. Even though she no be fighting that time because of one or two, she can go, go go finish her school, go service. When she don't gather small money, now she can come back for the matter. When the matter come to court, the ex husband no ever show up for one day. And one thing we court, if you no show up like that, now for the court to come. So as the court. People come with police and everything. Now so, we, the husband won't begin to do gra gra. Now so, those people just tell and say, if you know stand well, eh, we, go, we go show you Shige now. Now so, she can't carry her picking. So she says she been the wonder. Say, yeah, her one begin to the bond with this my picking. The picking was five years that time. The picking go ask and say, oh, who you be? She can't tell and say, be your mama. You know, it was so emotional, so emotional, actually. I wish I can allow it play, you know, from beginning to the end. But yeah, make I just summarize them. Say she been the even fear, say how she won't come take, you know, born with this pekin. For where? And she just carry her part, give the pekin, say the pekin even could remember the papa again. Say now when she come carry the pekin, rich house, where she come, they cry. Now in the pekin come, they say, mommy, why did they cry? No one to me, they cry. Yo, know, so when my stepmother, they always cry every time because daddy, they always bitty bitty am for kitchen, you know, everywhere. And I say they bitty bitty am. My correct, correct people, they have no be smart, you know. Now I understand why blessing always have negative things to say about marriage. You get time where we say, been, they always follow her. You know, they like her. She'd always encourage women to dress up, to take care of themselves, and all of that, and also to have their own thing. But at the point, I can't see, say, you know, as much as she's saying all those nice stuffs, she just get this negative mindset about marriage, like in a side chick, they enjoy married women are suffering, and all of that. I can't say, I think I come on, leave this woman page. And that thing come make me and they follow those her series again. But now I don't hear her story. I understand why she has that impression. Because according to waiting just love I talk, I don't know whether that's true. You see her second picking, she born him for one married man, you know, one man will be big or girl for pensions and all of that. Maybe she don't compare, I don't know. Maybe she don't compare side chicks, you know, enjoyment and when she's been day married and she still say when she been beside chick to that married man and she enjoy past that's why anything marriage mm, 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 mm. my correct right people they might not know but at least i don't hear her story today and even if she come out to so come talk anything i could not say na be so waiting she don't pass through all right so make i drop my for here and i thank you for watching and stay beautiful when i bye